Hello, good evening. This is Sandy Golson from SG3 Communications. Wanted to come at you tonight and talk a little bit about what's going on in Charlottesville, Virginia, with the white nationalist rally that led to tremendous violence down in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, Charlottesville, uh, some of you may know, is the home of the University of Virginia. And uh, with the violence breaking out, one of the things that I wanted to do was to analyze the way that people have responded. And part of the reason I do this is because one of the things that uh, we talk about at SC3 Communications is how you handle a crisis situation. What kind of response do you want to offer? What kind of tone do you want to strike? And what kind of message do you want to send? And it's very important in a situation like this where there is a clear path to what is right and a clear path to what is wrong that you take yourself, your brand, the brand that you represent down the right path. And in this case, the brand that is represented is our nation. And so I've been looking at some of the responses that we've seen from some high ranking people, including some prominent politicians, former politicians and others to see what kind of tone that they've been able to strike. And on the screen right now, you can see some comments here, uh, three comments from uh, three uh, leading Democrat politicians uh, over the last probably 20 years. And uh, one is uh, right here at the top from former President Bill Clinton, who tweets, even as we protect free speech and assembly, we must condemn hatred, violence, and white supremacy, hashtag Charlottesville. So what's strong about President Clinton's tweet here is that he, number one, talks about protecting free speech and the freedom of assembly. So very important right there that we understand that we want to protect free speech and the right to assemble peacefully. But he also comes back and condemns hatred, violence, and white supremacy. So strikes a very strong tone while also standing up for the rights of people to have freedom of expression and assembly without going to violence. So very strong comment there by President Clinton. The second one we have here is from uh, Senator Sanders, Senator Bernie Sanders, uh, who was, uh, we know, uh, a presidential candidate and uh, made a great run in the Democratic primary before uh, losing out to Hillary Clinton. And what Senator Sanders writes is the white nationalist demonstration in Charlottesville is a reprehensible display of racism and hatred that has no place in our society. So, again, very strong statement there by Senator Sanders. Uh, here's one, uh, one of the top ones here from uh, former Vice President Joe Biden, who writes uh, right to the point, there is only one side, hashtag Charlottesville. So some strong comments right there from some leading Democrats uh, in the, the wake of what's been happening in Charlottesville. wanted to share also a comment here, a tweet from Senator Rubio, who was, a, of course, a presidential candidate as well. Senator Rubio writes in, in this one particular tweet, very important for the nation to hear POTUS, which is the Twitter handle for the president of the United States, describe events in Charlottesville for what they are, a terror attack by white supremacists. Very strong statement there by Senator Rubio, leaving no doubt of how strongly he feels about this. And that was about five hours ago. So that was, um, you know, probably around dinner time ish. And uh, Senator Rubio coming out with a very strong statement there. Here's a statement from Jeb Bush, the former governor of Florida, uh, former, uh, I believe, multiple time presidential candidate, the brother of former President George W. Bush and the son of former President George H.W. Bush. And uh, what uh, Governor Bush writes here is the white supremacists and their bigotry do not represent our great country. All Americans should condemn this vile hatred. Hashtag Charlottesville. So very strong statement there by Governor Bush. Uh, getting right to the point. And here's, uh, I'm going to share something here from Terry McAuliffe, who is the governor of uh, the state of Virginia. And uh, Governor McAuliffe writes, there's no place in Virginia for hatred and bigotry. People who've come to Virginia today to hurt others are not patriots. They are cowards. Go home. Very strong statement again by Governor McAuliffe right in the heat of what's been going on down in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, you can see in the image here uh, on his Twitter feed a coalition of leaders from Virginia coming together to speak to what took place on, uh, which actually really began, I believe, late Friday and carried on into 
the day on Saturday, uh, two uh, officers killed in a, a crash, and uh, one uh, person on the ground was killed uh, when a vehicle uh, allegedly plowed in intentionally into a group of people, killing one, injuring others. And so very strong statements there. And again, in a crisis situation, very important that you come out with strong statements, that you are unequivocal in what you're saying, and that you strike the right tone. Striking the wrong tone can lead to more problems down the line. And so you want to be fast, but you also want to be uh, on point with your messaging to make sure that uh, you're not saying anything that's uh, out of line, out of turn, uh, being too soft can lead to trouble and being too strong in this case probably can't hurt. And so really good to see these uh, leading politicians, including some who are directly involved in the situation in Charlottesville, Virginia, and others who are looking at it from the outside in. So strong statements here, uh, some that uh, were not so strong. I think people felt like President Trump not as strong as they wanted to see, uh, did not mention white nationalism, did not mention white supremacy. Uh, did not mention terror. And so uh, we'll see what happens uh, when the surrogates get out on the talk show circuit on Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. Uh, We'll see what the White House does to pivot and respond and to maybe uh, pick up what the president uh, did not say to uh, make a stronger statement about what happened in Charlottesville. So appreciate if you can hit the subscribe button. And also check out more information about SG3 Communications by visiting our website at sg3comm.com. That's sg3comm.com. Thanks. Have a good evening.